Stephanie and I'm here to do another video in my series of videos for October. Last year I did a video recommending horror podcasts and I thought I would do another video this year to add some more podcasts to that list. I'll leave a link to the video I did last year down below in case you wanted to see what I recommended last year. Most of what I'm going with in this video is going to be kind of fictionalized, dramatized stories. So the first podcast I'm going to recommend is Limetown. This is an older podcast. There's only seven episodes. It has won awards. Like It is just fantastically produced and well Done. Limetown follows a journalist who is investigating the incidents that happened at Limetown, which was this enclosed community full of researchers and scientists. There is one frantic 911 call recorded from the inside of the town, and by the time the police got there, the town was just completely empty. And so this journalist is trying to figure out what happened. This was fantastic. Like I said, so well done. There was times where I was like legitimately scared listening to this. And the next podcast I want to recommend is kind of a sister podcast to one I recommended last year, The Black Tapes by Pacific Northwest Stories. This is Tannis. And this follows Nick and he is following an age old conspiracy. This one has a lot more like sci-fi elements and deals with, like I said, a big conspiracy. So it's a little different from the black tapes, but I feel like just as well done. My next one is about horror movies. And this is just a really enjoyable one that I love to listen to. It's not scary. It's not going to scare you, but I just love the commentary. This is Bloody Date Night. So in this podcast, the hosts are a couple and the guy really likes horror movies and his fiance does not. So every month they watch like a classic horror movie separately and then they get together on the podcast and discuss it for an hour and they're really funny. I feel like one of them has a background in improv and just like their jokes, they're very quick witted. It's just really funny. My next podcast I wanted to recommend is Darkest Night. This is produced by the same people that do the No Sleep podcast. If you like uh, creepypasta type stuff, I would definitely also recommend the No Sleep podcast. Uh, but Darkest Night is dramatized and the framing narrative device that they use for each of their anthology episodes is that we're in a lab and there is this discovery where when you are looking at a recently deceased body, you can see that person's last memory. And so each podcast episode is that person's last memory. There's a lot of tension because you know that someone's going to die, but you don't know who. And I feel like the producers of Darkest Night have done a really good job of putting background noise when you're wearing your headphones. And I, cause I listen to this at work and I'll hear like footsteps coming behind me and I've been wearing headphones and like turned around and looked for noise. So I feel like this one's a really good, like immersive experience. So I would definitely recommend that. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for you today. Let me know if you have any other horror podcasts you love, uh, or if you want to talk to me about any of the ones I mentioned, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.